I'm Martin Thomas, and it's Monday, the 7th of October, 2024. Welcome to the 7 Minute Briefing Podcast, brought to you by Sat7. This month, with tensions high in the region and airstrikes impacting thousands of Lebanese families, we're bringing you an emergency country briefing looking at Lebanon in more detail. We'll look at how Christians are responding to the unfolding situation and hear from one of Sat7's directors in Lebanon, Sarah Swadi, about how the team are keeping faith and supporting viewers. One of the smallest countries in the Middle East, Lebanon sits on the eastern shoreline of the Mediterranean. Despite its size, the snowy peaks of Mount Lebanon and the Mediterranean coastline in the east make for a diverse climate. This combination of coastline and rich natural resources has made Lebanon an important trade port for civilizations throughout history. After becoming independent in 1943, periods of prosperity have been interspersed with significant political instability, culminating in the 1975 to 1990 civil war. But despite periods of conflict, Lebanon has remained a cultural and economic hub in the region, and in recent years has also experienced a spiritual awakening, with congregation numbers growing and thousands coming to faith in Christ. While there aren't any official numbers of Christians in Lebanon, it's one of the few countries in the Middle East to have a significant Christian population, an estimated 2 million people. Following cross-border hostilities and airstrikes between Hezbollah and Israel, thousands of families have fled their homes in the south of Lebanon. As people move north in an attempt to escape the violence, local churches have responded by opening their doors to those needing shelter. Last week, Sat7 Arabic programmes Different Angle and Voice of the Church heard from church leaders in Lebanon about how they're supporting people affected by the ongoing violence. Nihad Hassan, pastor of the Kurdish Church in Lebanon, told You Are Not Alone how his church is providing shelter for displaced people and how members of the congregation have opened up their homes to accommodate families fleeing the violence. Christ came for all people, he said. This is an opportunity for us as Christians to be a light in this world so that people can see Jesus Christ through our actions. Meanwhile, Pastor Suhail Saoud from the Evangelical Presbyterian Church in Beirut described the impact of the airstrikes on the 27th of September. So now we have more than 100, probably 200,000 displaced Lebanese. Earlier this year, Sat7 Arabic aired live coverage of Beirut 2024, a special celebratory event which saw 10,000 Christians gather for worship in Lebanon. Today, from Sat7's Beirut studio, the team can hear the shelling just a few kilometres away. Sending out a call for prayer, Executive Director for Sat7 Lebanon, Maroun Bou Rashid, asked, people around the world. Please pray that the violence stops immediately, that children in particular will not witness or experience what we did as children, and that their lives will be spared. Lebanon is home to more than 30 Sat7 staff and their families. But amidst the violence, the team continue to go live, even after nights of airstrikes and fear. Director of Sat7 Arabic's You Are Not Alone, Sarah Sawedi, told us what it's like for the Lebanese team. When we are at work in the studio, we are so close to the bombing, it's palpable. You can really feel and hear everything when the bombs go off. Our programme, You Are Not Alone, is trying to cover these stories and to be the voice of those who don't have a voice at these times. You Are Not Alone is now being broadcast live three times a week to help give a voice to those affected and bring much-needed messages of hope and comfort to viewers. On the latest episode, amongst messages of encouragement, viewers shared their own stories about how they're holding on to faith, even as everything around them falls apart. Viewer Rakam Diab, who lives in South Lebanon with his family, wrote... The power of prayer is strong. Pray, pray, 
Pray for this country. That is my message. Nisreen, a mother of three from the southern border of Lebanon, shared the heartbreaking reality of how her children, once terrified by the sound of explosions, now accept it as a part of their daily reality. It makes me upset that these children are not being raised safely, going to school and living in peace and security, she told presenter Siren on You Are Not Alone. Everyone has the right to live in safety and peace. But this is a reality we can't escape. But even while Nisreen fears for her children's safety and future, she is also firmly holding on to faith in Jesus. She said, Our strong faith is in Jesus Christ. He is our salvation. This is what keeps people in my village strong. We are holding tightly to our faith. Finally, as the situation continues to evolve, let us join the prayer of a Sat7 viewer in Lebanon. You, Lord, are all powerful, and nothing is too difficult for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus, extinguish the flames of war and let your name be glorified everywhere. Comfort the hearts of the grieving and heal all the wounded. Only our Lord Jesus is able to do all things and nothing is beyond your power. Amen. Thank you for listening to the 7 Minute Emergency Country Briefing from Sat7. Take a look at today's show notes where you'll find links to today's briefing article plus ideas of how you can be praying into the situation in Lebanon. Music